Remember actress Kim Basinger? This is her life now. Sybil Shepherd. If you were alive in the 1970s, chances are you had a massive infatuation with Shepard. After winning Miss Teenage Memphis, she became a model and was shortly nominated for a Golden Globe for her performance in The Last Picture Show. Shepard's career simply erupted after she released The Heartbreak Kid. Shepard went to Broadway after becoming a movie star and achieved success there. She ultimately returned to Hollywood, starring in television series such as Moonlighting and Sybil. She occasionally appears in films and has had prominent roles on The L Word and The Client List. Diana Ross Ross will forever be known as the Supreme's propelling force. Her voice came to represent the Motown music culture. Possibly most critical after she departed the Supremes and went solo, she became a pioneer for African-American women to achieve crossover success. Ross has long since passed her zenith, but she's still growing stronger. She released her 25th studio album in 2021, her first in 15 years. She continues to perform and sell out venues. Ross has sold over 100 million albums worldwide and received a Grammy for Lifetime Achievement in 2012. Mary Tyler Moore Moore was first introduced to the world on The Dick Van Dyke Show, one of the most prominent television programs of the 1960s. During the 1970s, when she started The Mary Tyler Moore Show, she undoubtedly attained her artistic pinnacle. The fact that the program was named after a woman and portrayed a working woman who challenged traditional family roles marked a turning point. After receiving her own program, Moore's popularity continued to increase. She continued to appear in films and on television from the 1980 film Ordinary People until her final TV appearance in 2013 on the program Hot in Cleveland. Mary Tyler Moore, an icon, passed away in 2017 at the age of 80. Morgan Fairchild Fairchild proved to be much more than a soap actress after gaining prominence as Jennifer Pace on the daytime soap opera Search for Tomorrow. By the late 1970s, she had appeared on nearly every iconic television program of the era, such as Happy Days, Dallas, and Morgan and Mindy. Fairchild has continued to introduce herself to new audiences over the years. She appeared on Roseanne, Touched by an Angel, and Seventh Heaven as a guest star, as well as Chandler's Mother in five episodes of Friends. She's still active, providing her voice for an episode of The Simpsons in 2020. Susan Anton Anton was essentially a beauty queen in the 1960s. This led to an abundance of film and television work in the 1970s, as well as more than two dozen appearances on The Merv Griffin Show. Anton even had a country chart-topping single titled Killin' Time. After emerging on her own in the 1970s, Anton also enjoyed success in the 1980s and 1990s. She appeared on popular television programs such as Murder, She Wrote, Night Court, and 13 episodes of Baywatch. Recently, Anton had a role in Sharknado, The Fourth Awakens, as she continues to find work in her later years. Susan Day Day was introduced to the world in the 1970s as Lori Partridge on The Partridge Family. For several years, she was a ubiquitous name in that role, both in the original and spin-offs. Later, Day became one of the faces of L.A. Law, demonstrating her versatility as an actress. Day continued to be a working actress for many years after L.A. Law ceased. In 2004, she withdrew from the public glare to live a more private existence with her spouse, Bernard Safronsky, to whom she'd been married since 1988. Robert De Niro This man has been everywhere and done everything, captivating audiences and winning awards along the way. He came into his own in the 1970s, particularly after winning an Oscar for his performance in The Godfather Part II. De Niro is still as brilliant an actor as he's always been. If you saw him in The Irishman in 2019, you would believe that he hasn't changed since his early films. Then you recall that he previously appeared in Meet the Parents and The Intern. That might be the best way to sum up what an incredible career De Niro has had. Lonnie Anderson Anderson was one of Hollywood's greatest models during her prime. She'd been appearing in minor roles on television for several years. WKRP in Cincinnati, the program that earned her multiple Golden Globe nominations, introduced her to the world. While she experimented with films, Anderson's main source of income over the years has been television. She's appeared in everything from The Love Boat to Melrose Place over the years, and even starred in a 2017 pilot, her name still carries considerable weight.
Joanna Cameron. Cameron's career was like an exploding star. It only endured slightly more than a decade, but it was extraordinary. Prior to her breakout role as the title character in The Secret of Isis in the early 1970s, she appeared in a few notable films and television programs. However, she is perhaps best known for appearing in commercials, for which advertisers reportedly spent an estimated $100 million. By 1980, Cameron's career in show business was essentially over. Appropriately, her final job was a television film titled Swan Song. She then worked as a home health care nurse before pursuing a career in marketing, her most recent endeavor. Angie Dickinson Dickinson began her career in the 1950s, but in the 1970s, she transitioned from a cinematic celebrity to a television sensation when she landed the main role on the show Police Woman. Dickinson's performance as Sergeant Suzanne Pepper Anderson would earn her a Golden Globe and establish her as a ubiquitous name. The end of the 1970s did not mark the end of enjoyment, which she appeared in films such as Dressed to Kill, Play It Forward, and even Ocean's Eleven. Dickinson also made numerous TV appearances over the years, but she retired from the entertainment industry in 2009 to appreciate her golden years. Loretta Swit Fans of the television series MASH will never forget Loretta Swit, not that they'd want to. She won two Emmy Awards for her role as Major Margaret Hot Lips Houlihan and appeared in over 250 episodes of the 1972 to 1983 series, making her one of the most popular women on television in the 1970s. MASH was by no means the conclusion of her career. She appeared in TV programs and TV movies for decades. In addition to receiving praise for her theatrical performances, Swit has also published two novels and performed in theater as recently as 2017. She's in her 80s and still going strong. Alicia Silverstone Before landing the role of Cher Horowitz in Clueless, Silverstone was not an obscure commodity. Her performance in The Crush attracted the attention of director Marty Kellner, who cast her in two music videos for the band Aerosmith. When music videos were broadcast on MTV, Silverstone became famous. Silverstone has worked with lesser, independent production companies and remained out of the spotlight for the majority of the 2000s and beyond. She portrayed herself in the comedy film Tropic Thunder. She now accepts a handful of roles per year, with her most recent being in the Netflix comedy series The Babysitter's Club. Christian Slater Christian Slater was born into the entertainment industry and made his television debut at the age of eight. He broke through into the mainstream in the 80s with his prominent role in The Legend of Billie Jean and starred in big-budget films in the 90s like Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and Interview with a Vampire. Recently, Slater won a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor for his portrayal in the USA Network drama Mr. Robot. Mr. Slater is currently filming several upcoming roles, so keep an eye out for him on a screen near you shortly. Paula Abdul While the majority of these celebrities stopped applauding after high school, Paula Abdul turned it into a career. Before she became a successful vocalist and dancer, she was a Laker girl for the Los Angeles Lakers. Abdul would go on to release the hit single Straight Up and appear in films such as Can't Buy Me Love and Coming to America. As a juror on the first nine seasons of the talent competition American Idol, she'd reach a younger demographic. Recently, she concluded a Las Vegas residency comparable to Celine Dion's. Kim Basinger In the early 1970s, Basinger was a highly sought-after model and cover lady. In the latter half of the 1970s, she began appearing in guest roles on television, paving the way for an impressive film career that began in the 1980s with films such as Never Say Never Again, The Natural, and Nine and a Half Weeks. Her film career never slowed down after the 1980s when it began to flourish. Even as she matured, Basinger's landed coveted roles in films such as Eight Mile, The Nice Guys, and Fifty Shades Darker. 